surgeon Diane Davis has already got itchy feet after realizing she's still in love with her ex-boyfriend Rick. It's never easy in Tellyland, is it? You know, get together, <laughs> live happily ever after, have many children. No. Here to tell us more, the lady herself, actress Patricia Potter. Good morning to you. Good morning. You didn't even know the surname of your character was Davis, did you? Well, we still get the scripts with Diane Lloyd, and I thought she was the kind of chick that would, you know, keep her name yes. very firmly. Strong. Ms. Lloyd, you know. <laughs> she's called Ms. Lloyd by everybody. She hasn't taken his name, I don't think. Now, you've had so many boys over the <laughs> course in your, your character. Not as many as some, I promise. We, 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 hold on a second. Rick, Danny, Steve, Tom, Alex, Peter, Will and Owen. No, I didn't, <laughs> didn't have Alex. No? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, um, no, Alex as it and her were. were purely platonic. Okay. Yeah. And who was the other one? Well, there were seven or eight here. <laughs> <laughs> there, there Honestly, seven. we did, you you did, did a head count. I think says it all. I know, Form, it's Forming awful, close and intimate relationships on screen. Which you four years, you know. <laughs> exactly. Um, not as many as the Jess character, I don't think. I think she's leading the field at the moment. But now, to your episode tonight, is, uh, you go to Ghana, don't you? You find your ex-boyfriend consultant, Rick. Yes. And then what happens? Gosh. You can't tell us. <laughs> There's a lot that happens, right. isn't there? Um, well, she goes out there because, uh, obviously... Um, she, the, the ward, Connie has closed down her ward. Uh, Jess is pregnant with Zubin's baby. She, she suddenly says, right, this is all Rick's responsibility. He has to come back, um, sort out, sort out the ward closure. You know, we need him here and Jess needs him here and all this stuff. So she determines to go out there to persuade him to come back. Mm -hmm. And obviously when she gets there, she realizes that he has his own demons. He's there for a reason. Yes. You know, and, uh, and the story becomes quite something else, really. This is it, quite something else, from tonight. Did you seriously think that I was going back with you? <laughs> what? Why else would I be here? I'm sorry, I obviously got it completely wrong. I just thought I'd give it a go. I can book a flight home in the morning. Why wait till the morning? There's a phone in the house. So where does your husband, Owen, fit into this? <laughs> Who knows? Who? Yeah, oh, oh, I see, like that. No, he uh, he stays in in uh, in England. It's only over the course of three days. This sort of the hot, the episode covers a sort of three day period, and uh, and so I think he thinks I've just gone out there. I've told him I'm going out there to bring him back. Mm -hmm. So I think he thinks that's all it is. But a lot happens. And did you enjoy in filming in Ghana? It was fantastic. Amazing. It's part of Africa it was Week on amazing. the beach. Yeah, it? yeah. We were so privileged and lucky to get the chance to go and experience that. Did you have it any downtime while you were there? Was it all Not go? Not really. We, had, we were there over Easter, so we had the Easter weekend, Saturday, just the Saturday and Sunday, which was great because, you know, all the crew and it, well, we all knew each other mainly from, from before, from having worked on it in England, mm. and, and it was just an amazing experience, really fantastic. Excellent. Um, almost like um, Kent in terms of the countryside, where you're from, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yes. Green and leafy. <laughs> green and leafy. Yeah, green and leafy and lovely. Patricia, nice talking to you. Uh, you. Holby City tonight at 8 o'clock, isn't it? I think? Yes, that's yeah, right. That's nice meeting you. Thank you. Brilliant. Well, the rain is here now. That's it from us. Here she is, though. Thank you very much. I'll be watching Holby City. I love Holby.